Hello. How's it going? <laughs> Frankie Slauson here. Ah, gotta love some juice. Well, have you guys uh, been guessing? Remember the last video that I put up? About something big's going to happen here on March 25th? You know, I was reading some of you guys' comments in the last video, and I gotta say, I, I was kind of surprised a little bit by some of the responses. Uh, some people thought I was going to be in a short film. Some people thought I was going to have sex for the very first time. I thought that was pretty interesting. Well, I can definitely tell you, no, I'm not going to be in a short film. No, I'm not going to be in a video with uh, Brendan or, or Sean or whatever. Cool dude. -er. Hopefully someday in the future, yeah. But not right now. And no, I'm not having sex for the very first time. In fact, I can actually can say, you know, <laughs> I I definitely can say I'm not a virgin. That's for sure. And I'll just leave it at that. So you guys can keep on guessing if you want to. Something. I mean, this is big. I'm not just uh, razzling your chain here. This is something that's gonna, at least to me, it might not be a big thing to you guys, but to me, because it's the first time I've ever experienced this in my entire life. This is a big deal to me. And so, obviously, it must be a big thing if I'm going to make a big deal about it, right? And it will be, because you'll have video proof of this, too. Uh, so, anyway, so it's going to be a little while until I reveal what's happening. Uh, I'm supposed to be getting something in the mail here, something uh, that's in an envelope. And when that comes, then I'll make a video of that. But until then, keep on guessing. Okay. So anyway, I want to make this video a little little long today because I want to talk about something that uh, happened to me about 10 years ago. Uh, 10 years ago, of course, it was 2001. And this is a story that I've been wanting to tell people for a while. I'm not going to drop any names, you know, for anybody that does watch my videos that, that knows me or whatever. But this is something that I've wanted to get off my chest for a very, very long time. And I'm doing it via the webcam because... It's just what I want to do. I know a lot of people say, well, it's too fuzzy, or I can barely hear you, or whatever. Well, I'm sorry. You know, I mean, it is the way it is, so enjoy it. This is my, my Logitech webcam. Uh, it's not really in widescreen, but, uh, hey, it's all right. Whatever. But this is a story about how I was as an individual. See, a lot of people know me as the guy who's a DVD guy, or, or loves, you know, wrestling, or loves movies, loves everything that, you know... Has, involves entertainment, even radio and stuff like that. T you know, I've always been kind of been that way, but 10 years ago, when I was 17 years old, I was kind of a different individual then. Um, I was younger, and I was in school, I was a junior in high school, and let's just say I was more, I know this may be hard to believe, but I was kind of a, a cocky individual. I wasn't, I was a nice guy, I always have been a nice guy. But someone who was like a, a, a little rebel. And somebody who was used to getting picked on. Get used to be told that you're never going to amount to anything. You know, stop stop dreaming too big because you're never going to make it. You're never going to be anything that you want to be. Blah, blah, blah. And all this stuff. Obviously, it took a little while for me to do some growing up, obviously. And I, and I do realize that. But 10 years ago, I was a much different person. I was so used to getting picked on, I uh, to the point where I actually got myself involved in a little bit of a fight, and that's what this story is about. About what happened to me about 10 years ago, from the months of January 2001 till about April 2001, and something that I'll, I, I still will never ever forget about, and I wish it could have been differently, but it's just something I need to say, just because that's what I do here on YouTube. I talk about what I want to talk about. I inform you guys of what's going on. So that's what I'm going to do here. So bear with me. You know, you might not like this story, but I'm going to say it anyway. Anyway, so... Like I was saying, I, I get, got used to getting picked out a lot. You know, my, my family, our last name was never a popular name. I never was really involved with a lot in school as far as, like sports or, or drama or music. I mean, I was involved with a little few, uh, I think, a uh, few things here and there, but not nearly as much as as I uh, wish I would have been. 
especially the sports. I was really big involved in wrestling. I really liked uh, amateur wrestling at the time, and I, I did try it out a few times, but never amounted to really anything. Uh, I had the the ability to, to give up a lot. I mean, to really, really give up. You know, when when I had a big thing going, I would just quit. I would just up and quit, and uh, for no particular reason, I just quit. And you know, it took me a little a little while to realize that quitting is not really the answer, and you shouldn't do this. But I was so used to getting picked on that there's a you know I finally said to myself, you know what, I've had it. You know, it, it's my junior year of high school. I get really no respect from anybody besides a few people that I know and a few teachers that I'm really close to at the time. Uh, other than that, I I got no respect from anybody. I was I was treated very differently because of my disability that I had. You know, born with a cleft palate and you know and surgeries and whatever that I had at the time. I was never, well, what you would call now, if I was in school now and with the motivation I have now, it'd be a different story, I guarantee you. I have more charisma and I have more confidence in myself as a human being than I did 10 years ago. Uh, but I got myself involved in a serious fight. And it wasn't just a wrestling match or whatever. It was it was a somebody that, you know, was this popular guy who had a popular last name and everybody treated you know, like a king. You know, he was somebody who you'd see who would get nominated for uh, homecoming and all that stuff and prom and all that stuff. And he's just somebody that, you know, I wanted to be like at the time. But I knew that because of my history and just because nobody really respected me at all, that that was never going to happen. You know, never going to happen. So I had to do something about that. I challenged this guy. I finally said, I've had it. It's no use. You know, I've. You know, it's, it's 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 put up or shut up time, and I finally just said, you know what, I'm gonna challenge this guy to a fight. I'm gonna pick on him. I'm so used to getting picked on by people who who are the big guys or the big people or whatever. It's time for this little guy to pick on somebody who's big. Put the fear of God into this person, and just to make an example of him. And I did that, and it wasn't always pretty. You know, I didn't always win. He didn't always win. But uh, let's just say uh, it was a, a, a few that probably should have happened, you know, and it did happen. And it's something that uh, kind of got me a little bit of trouble legally because I really, really want to make this guy feel like crap pretty much, you know, make him put the, you know, put the fear of God into him where I would blast his name over the Internet, you know. I, I'd send, uh, you know, I'd make a web page about him or whatever and send him, you know, Send his stuff, you know, talk about what bad on the internet and send it to everybody. I mean, we can laugh about it now because it was like a long time ago. I mean, who's going to care now, right? But it got to a point where his family really got scared. Really got scared of me. And, I, and I've never understood, even to this point now, I mean, they, they still don't like me because of, they, they cannot move on, of course, you know. We, we've all grown up, even this guy has grown up and whatnot and matured, and so have I. And they still, they still won't talk to me. You know, they still don't like me. You know, it's like, whatever. You know, and then I, the end of the result, I pretty much, uh, we went to court. And, uh, I got a one-year restraining order put uh, against me. First time I've ever had a restraining order put against me. Because his family was very afraid of me. And, you know, I don't know. I, I, I wasn't trying to hurt anybody at the time but it, it, I, I think the thing about it and, and to answer anybody's question who's always wondered why I did what I did because I know I got a few friends out here that I went to school with you know on, on YouTube or well, on Facebook here too and YouTube and whatnot that uh, have never really uh, figured out why I did what I did what I'm going to tell you right now for anybody who's ever wanted to know I did it mostly because after years of getting picked on and, and being told that you're never going to amount to anything you know you, you just give up all the time uh, I had to do something. I had to, I didn't want to, you know, I never really wanted to, but I, I knew that I, I had to. So, somewhere down the line, you, I just had to do what I felt like I needed to do. And I know fighting is not the answer. Obviously it's not. It's not the good way to, to, uh, to make peace with something or with somebody. But it's like, I, you know, I didn't care at the time. And we all do young and dumb things. I mean, Hell, I mean, I, I, I witnessed a lot of worse things, you know, uh, growing up, you know, even after that happened. 
that were worse than, than what <laughs> what I did, you know. Luckily, it wasn't bad enough to where I had to go to juvenile hall or anything like that, but but after a while, it did teach me kind of a life lesson, but I hope it taught that guy a life lesson, too. It's like, just because you're a popular guy in school doesn't mean you're going to be a popular guy in the whole entire world, okay? And I'm not saying I'm more popular now than I was then, but I've done, I've experienced a lot more in my life since then uh, than I think this guy has ever and this guy was the guy who was supposed to be, you know, Mr. College, University, whatever, smart guy, what, whatnot. And, and me, I only went to broadcast the school for one year, and I didn't even uh, finish it. And yet, look how I turned out. Now, I know it's, I'm not making a whole lot of money. I'm working at a grocery store. But you know what? I had to learn from my mistakes, and I had to learn the value lesson of uh, what I did. And, and, you know, but do I regret doing what I did? Not really, because I, I think I, I got a point across. I made a point, and as long as they got that point, then I was happy. It's not about who wins, who lo who loses. The point is to get the point across. If you, can do, if you get your point across with anybody who you've ever had an argument with or whatever, then that's, that's the best victory of all time, I think. But I just want to share that with you guys, because, I, you know, here on YouTube and all that, and on Facebook, whatever, I don't have a problem with getting personal, as far as you know, let, telling you everything there is to know about me. If you want to know, if you don't want to know, if you don't care, then don't even watch this video. But I just want to make it like a little serious video for once because I I I knew that we're coming up on the tenth anniversary of of uh, well, not only the tenth anniversary of WCW uh, uh, being uh, done with. But also the 10th anniversary of uh, since this happened and, you know, my feud with that guy. And, yeah, I don't know. I just think that it, it's just something that needed to be said. And it's probably, you know, not the best thing to say, but I don't really care. Wait, you know, whatever. <laughs> but anyway, so uh, other than that, uh, yeah, so keep on guessing, you guys. You're trying to figure out what the big thing that is that's going to happen at the end of this month. Uh, or on March 25th, something big. I guarantee you, you will, you will definitely like what you see. And uh, I am making this as big as my trip to Astoria, Oregon was, uh, if not bigger. Even though it's not as far, but it's, uh, yeah, it, it's something that I, is really close to my heart, really special to me. So no, I'm not having sex for the first time, and no, I'm not in a short film, but. Uh, Keep on guessing. <laughs> so, I'm Frank Slauson, and we'll see you again here for another great Frank Slauson video. Uh, also, just to let you guys know, too, real quick, that I do plan on going to my parents' place here next week sometime, and I'm going to grab a few of the DVDs so I can do my DVD update. I'm still going to do my ultimate DVD update, even if it's in a few parts. I guess whatever. I just I still want to do it. So, anyway, we'll see you guys later, and uh, keep on guessing. Bye-bye.